Hi everyone, Shane here with RepairDesk. Today we're going to help you set up your Dymo Label Writer 450 on Windows for use with RepairDesk. This printer is our recommended choice for printing professional looking labels for your repair store. Let's get started with the setup process. First you'll need to unbox and connect your printer to your PC and power with provided cables following the directions. Then install the roll of labels. Next you will need to install the drivers for the Dymo printer on the system that you want to use it with. You can visit our knowledge base article to download the drivers. We also have provided a link in the description. We will quickly run through driver installation. In repair desk click on knowledge base. In the search field enter Dymo and click the first article. How to set up Dymo printer. Under install printer drivers click on link. Click on download to download the drivers. Once downloaded you'll want to open and run the downloaded file. Next click on accept and then install. Next you will click on yes and then finish. Next, using the recommended Google Chrome browser for RepairDesk, we are going to modify the browser. Locate your Chrome icon and right click on the icon and then click on properties. In the field target, we are going to add disable print view so Chrome print will be disabled. Make sure this is one space between them. You can copy and paste from description as well. Then click apply and OK. Next we're going to go to, go to window settings, right click here and then click on settings. Click on devices then printers and scanners. Click on Dymo printer and select manage. Then click on printing preferences, then click on advanced. Here you will click on paper size and change it to 99012 label which is the preferred label for professional labels. Then click OK and OK and exit out of the window. Next we're going to head over to the repair desk software. Click on store settings from the menu and select tickets under module configuration section. From here you'll be able to choose your labels design under the ticket label template option. You can choose either default style or professional. Here we will make sure professional is selected and then save. Now let's head over to label size in the sidebar. From here you can adjust the width height of both your label and the barcode printed on it. The default sizes are visible here. We can recommend you adjust these values to 78, 27, 78, and 25 and click save changes. You can also adjust, adjust these to your liking. If you'd like to change the information that appears on your label, you can visit the template editor from the sidebar. Go to the ticket label template and select edit. From here, you're able to customize layout however you want it to appear. Now that you have your label printer set up, it's time to print some labels. From the top bar, go to Repairs, select Manage Ticket, and then go to the ticket that you want to print a label for, and hit Ticket Label from the drop-down menu. Now click on your Print Label button, and you should see your label displayed as a PDF. You can then choose to print this label with your Dymo Label Writer 450 by clicking the Print button or pressing Ctrl P on your keyboard and click on print. Now that you have printed a ticket label, it is time to print an inventory label. From the top bar, go to inventory, select manage inventory, and then select mobile accessories and parts. Go to the item that you want to print a label for. Select the action drop down menu and print barcode. And you should see your label displayed as a PDF. You can then choose to print this label with your Dymo Label Writer 450 by clicking the print button or pressing Ctrl P on your keyboard and then click print. 
And that's it. We hope this guide helps you setting up your Dymo label printer to print some great labels for your business. If you own a cell phone or a computer repair shop and are high quality POS software to keep track of your repair jobs, stay on top of inventory, look no further and sign up for free. Or if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Repair Desk team at support at repairdesk.co. Have a good one.